when I started working for Rick Majerus, I, I started journaling. I've never journaled in my life, um, but things were, there were such amazing stories. I mean, it was just funny, crazy. Um, and then I learned so much. And so I just started journaling. Next thing I know, four years, you know, I, I had hundreds of notes and I've never, and I remember reading a book um, in college and I grew up in the Chicago area, Big Ten country, Bobby Knight, I went to his camp and, and I read Playing for Night by Steve Alford. And I remember reading it cover to cover, just like I was just as a college basketball player, I was, you know, everything was so big at Indiana then. And uh, the question that I got asked all the time was, what's it like working for Majerus? Everywhere I went, recruiting trail, I still get it. What's it like working for Majerus? So I was like going to write a book saying working for Majerus. And 100% would not be disparaging. The stories are hilarious, but it would be just my time working for him was just such an amazing journey. And then I got to Loyola and then the final four happened and I was approached by the Loyola Jesuit press right after. And so many stories were documented during that time. And, you know, one of my, one of big part of who I am was my failures, you know, um, things that the roadblocks uh, that happened to me in my life, my faith has been a very, very part of my life. And they said, they, the, they said, let's write a book about your journey. I'm like, no one's going to want to read a book about my journey. I could just see my buddies like Lansing and those guys looking at me like, what the hell are you writing a book for? <laughs> and, uh, and I remember having lunch with John Gordon, the author, who I became friends with the past few years. And we met in Chicago for a cup of coffee. And I just have read every one of his books cover to cover. And I just, I just think so much about him, about his positive energy. And he, um, he said to me, if you're going to write a book, write a book of something that your kids would be proud of, that your kids would want to read. And it just stuck with me. It just absolutely stuck with me. I was doing this practice ever since I got fired. I was, I'd pick up the phone and call a coach. Hey, this doesn't have to be defining who you are. You know, get into this competitive reinvention. Mm -hmm. You know, you're competitive, obviously. You've been coaching. Get yeah. into this competitive reinvention. I talk about that in my book, and I knew it was worthwhile. My daughter is a freshman on the – now she's a sophomore, but she was on the freshman this past season on the Loyola women's basketball team. And they were, on a, they were driving to Peoria to play Bradley, and she sent me the most heartfelt text I've ever received about she's halfway through the book and just how much she sees parallels and just, I it was just blown away and it just made the whole project worthwhile. Even if me and you are the only two other adults that read it. 